I don't know why you have like a rat on your steering wheel though. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> my, my wheel gets cold. Oh my goodness, so my hand is like this. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 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 I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my god, I'm coming with the goodness. Acting like I ain't been in it, like I ain't been pushing my limit. It's first time ever deadlifting. First time. First time? Are you sure? You're like a you're like a pro. I don't. You're positive. Nah, I'm not working. What up, bro? What's up, bro? You better? Or are you still sick? I'm still sick. Damn. I, I gotta be teamed up with this guy. We gotta team up, man. What were you thinking? I, I no, I really can't put it on the camera. Can't put it on camera. This is top secret. All right, guys. So it's National Hat Day. Got my hat on. Still a lot more food to eat. So let's go see what I'm gonna get and cook. This might sound crazy Yeah I've been thinking a lot about you lately oh. I'm not trying to sound basic No, no But I think you'd be proud of the man Huh Our mailbox seems kind of full Yeah, I definitely know what this is Super excited, I've been waiting for this package for a while now Keys, door, now Can't find my keys it is kind of cold. All right, pause. Before I go any further and show you what I got, I really just want to take a moment and just discuss something. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the viewers um, have had experiences like this. This is nothing like funny. This is nothing interesting for say. This is just something that we all have seen firsthand. And I just, Every time I see something like this, it just really irritates me and gets me just really riled up and it sickens me, most importantly. Um, I was paying for my things and I saw this dad and mom and this little kid who, you know, every little kid wants something and they might nag their parents like, oh, I want this, mom, please, please, you said, you said. And I witnessed this and obviously, you know, you're just supposed to like do something like, Tell your kid, oh, not now, honey, maybe later, no, you can't have this. You're supposed to, like, is this really that important? You're supposed to, like, just not, you know, throw the kid away, right? Just, and kill his hopes and dreams entirely, but also teach him a lesson, like, we can't be throwing money around, something like that. You know, long story short, what I saw with these parents was just not cool at all. They treated the situation terribly. They didn't care about the kid at all. He was going wandering off and I was witnessing this. I'm like, whoa, what? And the guy, the dad, whoever, it seemed like a dad. I'm pretty sure that was dad. I know it was a mom. He was saying mommy repeatedly. Um, was like, oh, where'd that kid go? And she was like, I don't know and I don't really care. And she got annoyed and she left and he was just paying for his stuff. The kid finally came back. It was just a mess. I just don't understand why people have children that aren't capable of having children. It's just stuff like this just really drives me crazy. There's so many things in this world that just are not right. And this was one of them. Um, and when you witness these things like firsthand, you might be like, damn, this world has a lot of problems and most of the problems come from humans. Everything about that, this child, this little thing that's like new to this world and I don't know it was it, it got me going I definitely was giving them a look like you need to reevaluate yourselves or something because this is disgusting all right so without further ado I you know went on a little rant tangent there let me show you what I got I'm super excited for this package Supper boy. Supper boy. 
beautiful. All right, guys, so right now it's 4.38. I'm gonna have a friend pick me up around six-ish. That's when he gets off work. So I think I have time to cook right now. Uh, yeah, I have time. Hey, come on, yeah. American boy with Italian in my heritage. Same team from the bus stop, tearing shit up. I be where it's not enough to be a it. You think he blowing up, now put some more air in here. Um, the other thing is books. A lot of people are asking me about I'ma turn the whole game into two lanes, two lanes, two lanes. Pull a few strings. Look at how he moves things. I know a couple. I never vlog with my glasses on. It's because I don't like these glasses. But I need to get new ones soon. Anyway, so I'll get more stylish glasses soon. No problem. Oh man, I don't know if you guys listen to this guy, Anthony Russo, really recommend him. Regardless, the video is coming to an end. It was a really chill day, started off lifting with Erica. It was fun, teaching her the ropes, newbie to the gym. After that, I went to ShopRite, saw everybody, we spoke a little, came back home, cooked, been editing. Went out with my friend Carlos, drove a little, chilled, spoke. Now I'm back here, I'm still learning some camera. There's a lot of stuff I do not know about the camera. My editing, getting better each video. Thought I should sit down right now and talk to you guys what's going on through my head. Because I don't do that too often, but there's just a lot of stuff going on and let me just explain them. 2014, I started vlogging with very little knowledge what I was going to vlog about, how to vlog. I was literally just vlogging, talking, showing some stuff here and there, showing food maybe, I don't know, just showing whatever. And there was never really anything different i don't know i mean a lot of days there was nothing to really show and when you start vlogging you need to understand that you have to some days do something you have to get out of your comfort zone and go out and do something so that the viewers have something to watch if you're doing the same thing over and over it gets boring you have to show your life in like the best possible way everyone sees the outcome of my videos they don't see the hours spent editing they don't see the hours spent thinking ahead like all right today do i have anything i'm going to do what kind of story do i want to tell my video because at the end of the day you're telling a story of the day vlogging is so saturated at this point so many people are vlogging a lot more people than there was three years ago when i began but like i said um there's been a lot of transitioning for my channel i started off vlogging just to vlog and i'm like oh i have this crazy streak i was going i was going i was going went to greece i went through this that that Vlogging never got amped up. There was moments I was like inspired. I'm like, all right, let's amp the channel, but I never took action. I never did this or that, which I'm doing now. Right now, my game plan is to play like the big dogs. I tweeted something out last night along the lines of, to be amongst the big dogs, you have to play like the big dog. I'm trying to produce videos just like the people that have 600,000 subs, a million subs. I'm trying to be on par with them, regardless of the number of subs I have now. Not only am I producing content that I love doing, I love sitting down, recording, editing, getting creative, trying to inspire, entertain, and bring others up because I, I've been there. I know how it feels to be down there in the dust and the dirt, just done. Like wanting to stop everything, give up, I believe if you help at least one person in your life, just one person, I'm not asking you to help thousands, be a peacekeeper, save a hospital full of children, or anything like that. This can be anyone. Just help one person, try and make a positive impact on this world. There's so many just shitty people, there's no need to be another shitty person. So that's just, uh, just something I keep inside. And like I said in my last video, I'm being 100% with you guys not hiding anything, whatever I feel is coming out because I feel like I have not been very personal with you guys and I know I was kind of shifting towards that more like not personal feel but that's not me and that's not what I started this channel doing there's no need to take away from what this was meant to be in the beginning but you can always add things like I've been doing thank you guys all for watching please hit that like button if you have not subscribed you know what to do catch you guys in the next one peace, love, and positivity guys I am the greatest. Come on, look power. Come on.
Come on with power. Come on with dance. Come on.